Greetings. Welcome to the Rowdy Retro Reviewer Show. And here, I'm here to share my thoughts on Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh, starring Matthew Broderick. Sorry, not here. Instead, high schooler Ferris Bueller, his girlfriend Salone, and his best bud Carmen are all funny. Spontaneous from through Chicago, when known as Ferris Bueller's Day Off. You'll enjoy right now's bonus material that gives you insider's peek at this hilarious comedy from the from, comedy head from John Hughes. So barf up along for for a signal from his parents and tag along to the funniest adventure to. Ever sweep through this windy city. What are you still doing here? Say fearless, Bueller. So, it, hold on, sorry. So, in a nutshell, he pretends to be sick to go to have a gr have the best day of his life with his girlfriend and his best friend. Now, this is actually <clears throat> sorry for the sore throat. This is actually the first time I actually saw this film since I just finished watching it a few minutes ago. And I think it's one of the funniest films I've ever, ever, I've ever seen in my life. The principal is hilarious. Matthew Broderick plays playing a sick student and is comedic genius. <laughs> there was even one moment in the scene, I mean, in this film where he performs. Two different songs on a parade to impress, to get his girlfriend as best friend, best friend's reaction, which is priceless. <laughs> While his sister starts to be very suspicious about him pretending to be sick, which, let's be honest, we've all probably done something like this, pretending to be sick to not go to school. I mean, I probably done it a few times before when I was in elementary school. Cause when I was in elementary school, I used to be a bit of a stubborn. I used to be a bit of a stubborn boy, not wanting to go to school, since it was like learning prison, which I suppose you guys can relate to that. Well, okay, maybe you guys probably won't relate to it since you guys were probably good students, but but still. <laughs> I think this is one of Matthew Broderick's greatest films. In fact, this is the second film that I've owned. The first film that I've owned was... What's the first Inspector Gadget movie? Which is another film that I haven't seen in a long time. Same with the sequel. But that's besides the point. Be sure, maybe not every Matthew Broderick film is perfect. Sometimes there's bound to be a few rotten apples here and there. Like the Godzilla movie that came out in the late 90s. And the aforementioned Inspector Gadget film. The first film, not the sequel. <clears throat> <coughs> I think it's probably one that's probably a great film to enjoy. And I probably brought this all on my community post. Since so my mom and I went to a went to Goodwill the other day, and I just picked up this film, Fairless Bueller's Day Off, along with the Tom and Jerry movie on DVD, Meteor Man, and The Incredibles on VHS, which you can obviously see right here in my VHS tapes and DVD collections. And I probably brought this on in my community post. Now, I'm probably not going to go into a bit of spoilers. Okay, I think I probably did spoil it a little bit by mentioning the parade scene, which I apologize for that. So just pretend like I didn't spoil it. But anyways, if you guys happen to own this film either on VHS, DVD, or Blu-ray, let, let, me, let me know about your thoughts on this film. And if you haven't seen this, well, I think you should find a copy of this. Might be hard to find. Okay, maybe you could probably order it from Amazon. 
But I mean, like, find this V a VHS and DVD copy of Ferris, Be Ferris Bueller's Day Off, either at a thrift store where you guys live, or in Walmart or Target, probably a little bit hard to come by. Because I'm pretty sure VHS tapes were discontinued in the late 2000s. Which is kind of a shame. But I'm not going to make a de big deal over it. Since VHS tapes continue to be a bit of a treasure in our lives. Heck, the angry video game nerd and minty comedic arts share their thoughts, made some videos about their vi own VHS collection and DVD collection. And I'm pretty sure, I guess either one of them, angry video game nerd or minty comedic arts, might, might have a copy of Fer Ferris Bueller's Day Off. In some of their videos. And Matthew Broderick, if you're watching this video or at least heard about it from someone else, I think you are a bit of a talented guy. And sure, maybe not every movie you starred in was perfect, like I said, which still includes that lot first Inspector Gadget movie. But I do think you are a bit of a talented person, and I am slowly starting to know you a bit. Thanks to, well, this movie that I just shared my thoughts on. And they asked for mention, Inspector Gadget movie. The first one. Man, I have heard about you thanks to the Nostalgia Critic, who did talk about Godzilla, Inspector Gadget, and A Christmas Story Live. And I'm not sure if you've been in any other TV show and or movie before and after this one. Just let me know if you did stumble across this by mistake or something in your spare time. Or at least whatever you're doing right now. And I bet you must have had a lot of fun working on Ferris Bueller's Day Off or something. Well, anyways, thank you guys for watching. And man, it feels great to be making more YouTube videos. Again! <laughs> After taking some time off. Because every YouTuber needs it. Stay awesome.